Hi, we're at the BVE Expo here in London's XL, and I'm joined by Mark Risby of Boxer. How are you doing, Hi, Mark? Good, very good, thank you. Thanks for joining us today. Um, just wanted to have a quick chat with you about um, IP and the future of IP and video over IP, and just get your thoughts on it. We were talking yesterday about uh, some of the, uh, the pitfalls as well as some of the pros as well. Um, in your opinion, I mean, what's out there at the moment anyway? What, uh, what technology should we be looking out for? Well, there's a lot of IP out there. That's partly good and partly bad. So one of the uh, messages that, that we're really hearing loud and clear at the show is a lot of confusion, really, because there are some standards uh, and some near standards. So we have things like SUMPTE 2022 and its variants, which are one of the big boy standards for transmission. And there's various flavors, I think six flavors of that. We've got things like NDI, uh, which is from NewTek, which is an open protocol there. Uh, they're licensing out to people uh, who want it, uh, which is a lightweight IP system for distribution. Again, very interesting, a lot of interest in that. Um, and that kind of marries up um, all sorts of things like capture cards, routing systems, graphics packages and software all on the same network. So anyone can see anything as a source. It's very cool technology, um, NDI. Um, we're seeing things like uh, Wheatstone's Wheatnet, which is uh, part of the product we have here behind us which is an audio um, IP routing system all over IP. Um, and that's something that offers sort of real flexibility where people can put the distribution where they want it, over a standard network, over a WAN, connect a console, and then everybody can get access to everything on that network in one place. So that's, that's sort of good examples of people who are actually doing something today. So for somebody looking to dip their toe into this technology, then what should they look out for? What are the, what are the, sort of the, the, the top three things they should do before sort of launching into the whole IP network, or is that a long conversation? Well, it is a long conversation. <laughs> um, first thing they should do is know themselves, right? So um, there's no need, a customer said it yesterday, it was brilliant, there's no reason to replace rank, round cables with square cables. Just to go IP in itself is not a good enough reason. Why are you doing it? A lot of people are saying, I want to save money. Well, a lot of IP doesn't save you money, so that's not a good enough reason to do it, unless you can genuinely say there are cost savings. So really what you want to do is look at the application, drill it down, cost it out to do it traditionally. What will that cost me? How will it work? Will it work? Then look at what the equivalent IP system is and see whether that actually makes sense. Now with some use cases, it's really obvious. When we look at something like Wheatnet, we can show you that it's cheaper to do it in IP. When you look at some of the transmission stuff and routing, big scale HD or 4K routing, it might be cheaper to do it using a standard you know, traditional routing system. So, you know, you've got to look at it and, and be objective about it. Is there a halfway house or a compromise with, with this technology? Yeah, there is. I think what we're going to see are islands. Um, we're going to see people who say, I'm building this new system. Uh, maybe it's something like going to 4K is the driver. Maybe it's, um, uh, you know, a new facility or a new wing or a new building or whatever. And you can kind of say, well, maybe putting that um, as an IP only system to test, our, uh, test how it works, as a proof of concept, see how you know, how the system flows, how it affects us, is a good way of doing it. You learn, you know, once you understand that, you can see how you, you scale it to a bigger system. So, you know, gently, gently. Okay. And, and where are we going to next? Is it too soon to talk about the uh, the next steps in IP, or are we there already? No, the IP is good. Uh, it's solid, it's there. So we're going from 10 gig to 20 to 40 to 60 gigabit per second networking, and those standards are well defined. So it's then what you run over those traditional IT standards. The problem we have is those standards are normally um, applied into core switches at the minute, big telco switches, which are expensive. But we're really waiting to see some of that stuff commoditize and come down in price. And then we'll be able to take more advantage of it and then we'll be able to save some money. So I think the roadmap's there. You know, we're just deciding quite how we use it. Excellent. And how's the show been for you? It's been great. Excellent. <laughs> Mark Risby, thanks for joining us. Thanks very much. From me, Martin, at uh, How To AV at the XL Exhibition Centre for BVA Expo. See you next time.